and stir it together. Fine, I'll, I'll do it. Ah. I actually like Paul Blart Mock Up too. I actually saw it yesterday with my family. <laughs> My one complaint is Zack Snyder. In anticipation for Avengers Age of Ultron that comes out in the United States this week, we're gonna each express our favorite Marvel movie of all time and we're gonna argue which one is better. Okay, so our favorite Marvel movies. My favorite Marvel film is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. <laughs> Not the first Avenger. <laughs> Not the first Avenger, no. <laughs> the Winter Soldier. To me, it's just an amazing film. It's uh, political, it's action, and it's just an awesome film. It's, this film is so good, and not many people know this, but I was actually pretty excited for the directors. They're not that known, Anthony and Joe Russo, but they've directed, I know, I know them from, from a TV show called Arrested Development, and they actually directed several episodes from it, and I, I'm just psyched, and I think they're really amazing directors. I just I love it, you know, don't, it's just, I love it's uh, polit political subtext and it's, it was just an amazing film and the fact that, in a way, it's kind of more edgy and realistic than the other ones. Where did Captain America learn how to steal a car? Would you pull the car over please? I think I'm going to be sick. What? Would you please pull over the car? I am going to get sick. Oh, okay, oh, alright. Are you okay? You, you, yeah. Oh, hold it! No, I, I, no, wait. Don't leave me out here! <laughs> Nazi Germany. Hmm. Alright, that's mine. Uh, before I say mine, I just want to say I completely agree with you. The Winter Soldier is my number two favorite Marvel movie of all time. It's great. Um, the directors, they're, they're going to be directing Captain America Civil War and Avengers 3. So, because of that film, they're actually getting more uh, uh, notoriety. Is that, is that how you say it? Yeah. So, my favorite Marvel movie of all time is not only the best Marvel movie, but is the best comic book movie of all time, excluding The Dark Knight, because that's a crime drama, not a comic book movie, is The Avengers. The Avengers is such a great film because you get every single character from the comic books and from these other movies into one film to battle one giant evil and the way that Josh we Joss we didn't handled it was just perfect how he mixed all the characters and the character development all rose and it, it was just a perfect film I'm, I don't really have a list, but yeah, it would have been my number one. But Captain America is, is it? In a way, they're different films because Captain America is Captain America, not the Avengers. But by by a few points, Captain America is better to me. And while the while the Avengers could be more rewatchable in a way, it is really rewatchable. But Captain America to me has a bit more depth. The Avengers has funny moments, but to me, I don't know. If it's, it's just, it, yeah, it's just me, but I don't really see the Avengers. You know, the villains n never threaten me. Loki never threatened me. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Well done, amazing action sequences, amazing. But Captain America had more depth and had me more interested. That's what I'm. 
I'm gonna list the other Marvel movies, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna list them from zero to five stars of what of of how great you think it is. So the the one to start it all off, Iron Man, one to five stars. Give it zero to five stars. Isn't it four stars? Let's do zero to four stars. We the That's other one we did zero to five stars, the Jared Leto thing. We have to keep consistency. But Wait, well, I don't like this four stars thing. We can't keep I know, I know. it. Okay, so we're gonna list all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and we're gonna grade them and see how, how much we like them. So to, to kick them off, we're, we're gonna start with the Marvel movie that just kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Iron Man, the original Iron Man movie. A plus. It's an amazing movie. It's amazing. I love it. It's such a great movie. A plus. Terrence Howard. I miss him so much. Okay, so next, uh, The Incredible Hulk. I give it a B. Uh, C minus. Uh, no, Iron Man 2 is next. Sorry. C minus. D minus. I thought it was boring in the middle of the film. I just looked at my dad and I'm just like, what are we doing here? Captain America the First Avenger. I give it a solid C. I give it a B minus. Eh. You know, uh, the first half was great, the second half wasn't <laughs> that great, but I think it was an overall enjoyable film. Next up is uh, Thor. What did you think of it? Your grade? Oh, uh, solid C. I give it a uh, solid C as well. Uh, so next up is The Avengers. A plus. <laughs> a plus, A super plus. Such a great film. Thor The Dark World. I never saw it. Thor's hand gets cut off. The next one is Iron Man 3. What are your thoughts, Jack? I give it a... C minus. I give it a, uh... I give it a solid C. I didn't... I like the Mandarin twist. Something I remember was, um, The World Explorer limited edition watch. Uh, so the next film is actually Captain America the Winter Soldier. Is that the next one? I think. I think Captain America the Winter Soldier is next. Uh, great. Actually, Iron Man 3 was before Dark World. Who cares? <laughs> Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. A plus. Uh, I give Winter Soldier an A plus as well. I think it's 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 yeah, just great. It, uh, it changes the game, you know. It it changes the game. Next up, we got Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I give it a. I give it a. An A. I give it an A plus. Uh, what made you go down from an A plus to an A of it? Was there something in the film you just didn't like? Come here. 